Hello, this is Ed from Starcore Textbook, and uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at uh, printing and small receipt settings. So let's just start from the printing settings. The first one is the default POS and report printers. Report printer is used for printing reports, and the point of sale printer is used for printing invoices and receipts and tickets at the point of sale. So you can select your report printer from this drop down list all of your installed printers will appear here so if you just want to keep it to pdf you can select print to pdf and your reports will be printed in in a pdf format and you can save it on your hard disk and uh, in case of point of sale printer if you have installed any point of sale printers such as a receipt or ticket printer that will also uh, show up here in this list so you, you just need to select that printer from the from the list here okay so the next setting is secondary pos printer so this feature is available in pro edition you can also have a secondary pos printer and you can select it from here from the drop down list and this could be your main pos printer as well and this feature is really useful when you want to print to two printers simultaneously so this feature is really useful in businesses like food, restaurants, takeaway, or salons, where you give the main receipt to your customer and the second one to your store for the order preparation. Furthermore, you have an option to print your second print as a compact version or as a full receipt, just like a, your main receipt. So let me show you how the compact version looks like. So we'll go to small receipt settings here. And here is a print test page on a secondary printer. So let me press that button. So here you can see the compact receipt will look like something like that. So there is no logo, no header at the top, and also at the bottom there there is no uh, footer information here. So now we're going to take a look at how does the full receipt version looks like. First, you need to select that option, then you need to press this button here, apply. So the settings are saved. Now we'll go to small receipt and here's a test button for printing the test page. So here I click on this button. Here you can see, now we have a logo at the top and footer at the bottom. So this is a full receipt version. So now let's go back to printing again. So whether you wanna print your receipts in large size, for example, A4 size or in a small size, in a three inch sizes it depends on one of these two options so if you have selected a small receipt then make sure you have selected appropriate point of sale printer from the list here it should be a small receipt printer such as a ticket printer and uh, if you have selected a large size receipt here then make sure you have selected a point of sale point of sale printer from this list which can print to A4 size papers. So now let's go to small receipt settings. So the first uh, setting is logo setting. So this these uh, logo settings are only for the small receipt. So whatever you change here it will not affect the logo on the large size receipt. You can choose to print or not to print by checking this box and uh, here you can adjust the size of logo you can change it with the help of these up and down buttons and here you can set the position of logo whether you want to print it on the right side of the receipt or in the top middle so you can choose uh, with the help of these two uh, options here available here so the next group is uh, related to page settings so while printing on a ticket printer as the page comes out whether you want the bottom first or the top first it depends on this setting so you can choose one of these and here's a paper bridge for three inch size paper you need to set it to 80 mm and uh, other settings are margins this is the left margin top margin and the right margin and this is the bottom margin you don't need to set the height of paper height is calculated automatically by the software in uh, some of the printer driver settings it will ask you to set the height of a paper but you don't need to set it any height of the paper it will 
calculate the height according to the length of the receipt. With these two settings, you can change uh, the print format of the receipt. You can adjust the position of product column and the unit price column. You can move it to the right side by increasing this value or to the left side by decreasing this value and similarly for the unit price. And this is the font size of our receipt. You can increase or decrease it. And if you want to print it in a bold font, you need to check this box. Otherwise, you can uncheck. And um, you really need to do a little bit of experiments by changing these values and, and see how does that affect the printing and the format of a receipt. And uh, here are some utility functions. After changing this value, you can do a PDF test page and see if everything looks fine. And when I'm, everything is okay, then you can print it, print it on a real page. So this way you can save a lot of paper. For example, if I change, this value to let's say to 20 and see how does that look like let's do a test page pdf test page it's printing and here you go here you can see there's a, a lot of space between quantity and product column so now let's change this value back to 11 and see how does that affect the position of product column okay so this is the new formats so here you can see the product column has moved towards left side so this way you can adjust the different values and the printing format of a small receipt similarly here you can do a test uh, page on a secondary printer but in this case it will print directly to the printer not in a pdf format